I wonder if this is one of the unintended consequences of like that manosphere space that you get these kind of prophets and preachers out there that have these sort of wild opinions. You know, it's very, very important that how a wife gives the husband sex, whether she's tired <laughs> or not, to give them sex, yeah? yeah? Because you can't starve, you know, your husband and then complain when a woman outside wants to give him food. Mm, <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> wisdom? What? <laughs> <laughs> but listen to him explaining it listen to him clarifying essentially um essentially him endorsing raping your own wife all right because he's essentially saying she has to have sex with you regardless because she's your wife doesn't matter if she's tired or not you have permission to rape your wife because you know rape doesn't count when it's your wife because it's your wife because she's your possession let's see let's hear him can explain it well let me just make it clear i'm talking about married couples whether your wife is tired, she must give you sex. Otherwise, there'll be contention and tension in the home. Won't you think there'll be contention in the home when you get dragged to prison for rape? Won't that be contentious? Won't that be a bit of an issue? When you get dragged into, co into court and have to explain why you decide to forcibly have sex with your wife when she said she, wasn't, she didn't want to? Why she said she was tired and you tried to force your peace down her face? <laughs> Isn't that also contentious? I don't know. What what do I know? I'm just a young boy from East London talking out my ass. And you know, there's another woman out there wishing they have a chance to give you what your wife is struggling to give you. Is sex the only marker of a successful relationship? Just because your sex life is amazing, that means your marriage is amazing? Is there no like I don't know, compatibility, no feelings, no emotional ability to click, to emote? nothing whatsoever it's just about she's just a vehicle to pump out kids and a whole for you to stuff your piece in makes sense so wives whether you're tired <laughs> give your husband sex and husbands <laughs> also be considerate <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's why as a man you have to have self-control though that's what i was about to say so you have to have self-control as a man but your wife has to always ha be able to give you sex at all times you must have self-control but yes. as, as as wives you must be wise. Wisdom. You know, because, you know, wisdom is better weapons of warfare, the Bible says. <laughs> Why is he making this face like he's spitting? He's not. <laughs> he's not saying anything insightful. Because he's, he's speaking in a slow and s slow tones and deep tones, all of a sudden he's like, oh, oh, this nigga spitting. This nigga spitting that fire flame. Wisdom. Oh, honestly, that was fucking incredible. But... There's a second part that's funny because then he, he apologizes and he clarifies what he meant. So let's hear his apology because clearly these guys never really stand on business. This is the guy's apology, right? One half of his apology. Let's hear what he has to say for himself, right? Women have to give you sex at all times to give you sex. Sex, 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 sex. This is Prophet Onyaka Power. I've come to show. His name is Prophet Onyaka Power. I'm sure he gave his name Power to himself. And how can you deem yourself a prophet? That's very strange as well, with chest. Have you ever seen a prophet wearing a varsity jacket? <laughs> a prophet wearing dunks. <laughs> a prophet wearing Louis Vuitton. Cool, bro. This guy looks like he's not over probably, he's probably not over 30. He's probably under 35. Yet he's a prophet. How many times do you think, how many women do you think he's ever had sex with in his life, by the way? More light and bring more clarity based on a video that was recently posted of me on social media. Social First media. of all, I don't... I abhor. In the African community, we've got a lot of guys and girls like this. Guys who are like really young, but have very old people mannerisms. Usually it happens a lot when you hang around with all your parents' friends and they talk to you like an adult too much. I hate that shit. I think kids should be kids. But it happens a lot in African media. Ha Af African media. African fucking scene, whatever. Culture, whatever it may be. People always hanging around adults and he me talking about social media like he's fucking 60 or 70. Bro, if you're 30 years old, probably, if that, you spent your entire life on social media. It's not some social media like it's some foreign, spicy, exotic Western thing. In, in, in Europe, they have social media. In the UK, they have social media. The thing called the Facebooks. It's like, bro, you're 30. Come on, man. All you've known is Instagram and fucking Facebook. Like, relax grow up be your age don't grow up be your age 
condone abuse neither do i normalize abuse abuse, abuse. i was speaking for he sounds fucking redacted in it this guy did he do you think he do you think he graduated from anywhere he sounds legitimately like he knocked like he like you know like he fell over in the barber's chair one day or something like why does he sound like that I cultivate abuse bro you can speak normally bro speak abuse social media chris delia oh shit they can save snapchats back from a biblical point of view according to first corinthians chapter 7 first from a biblical point of view a man and a man should not procreate because that is an abomination <laughs> look his face Jesus does not like the gays or the trans. You stick a bat in your ass, you go to hell. It's like, get over yourself, bro. It's <laughs> three to four. And the Bible says, the husband should fulfill his marital duties to his wife. His wife. And likewise, your marital duties are to give me children, preferably men, because women are the bottom. And in the Bible, it says men are the top. The top is the head. The head leads. The body follows. So women are the body, but the man is the head. Aha, wisdom. Fuck off. It's the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body. Oh my God. The wife does not have authority on her body. She is not a free person. The wife is here to procreate for the men. God gave us wives like God gave us cattle to here to breed. Breed only. Don't speak breed. If you don't breed, you are useless. You are like Cardi B, like Megan the Stallion. Just shaking, 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 but for nothing. But a husband likewise doesn't have authority over his own body. According to the So women don't have authority on their body and men don't either, huh? Scripture I just read yes. is clear. That husbands must not deny their wife's sex and wives. Hold on. He interprets. Hold on. Let's read that. Uh, let's read that passage again. I want to. I want to see where you got that passage from, and I'm going to get it myself. How could you interpret from that passage that you're meant to give? You're meant to. You're allowed to basically to rape your wife. Hold on. I don't get that. Let me just read by that again. Let's read that one more time because that doesn't make any sense to me. One more Do time. Do I normalize abuse? I was speaking from a biblical point the of view. view. A, a biblical point of view. According to First Corinthians chapter seven, First Corinthians chapter seven. Let's find this. First Corinthians chapter four. So, social media. <laughs> Let's read this again. All right. Let's see here. Concerning married life. Now, for the matters you wrote about, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman, but since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations. Oh, for goodness' sake, leave me alone. Continue about supporting. Um, so now for the matters you wrote about it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman but since immorality is occurring each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband so far it sounds like hey if you're married you should be having sex with your wife and if you're a wife you should have sex with your husband that makes, that makes a lot of sense in it right so far but this doesn't constitute rape personally I don't know about you, but this sounds pretty reasonable. Let's continue. The husband should fulfill his marital duties to his wife and likewise to her husband. That also isn't encouraging rape. That just means, hey, if you're married, part of a marriage is also the sexual part of things. So make each other happy in that case. And if it's not working out, then probably you're not meant for each other. But it doesn't constitute women should have to give you sex even if she's tired on social media. It doesn't say that. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but use it to her husband. Kind of wild, but I get it. In terms of the union, you're both kind of coming into one. You're both being one union you're, as a marriage, right? You're coming together. That's what it's basically saying. You're not separate anymore. You're not single. You're coming together under the union. You're linking. Cool. So basically, you know, you're kind of, your, your body is mine. My body is yours. Cool. I understand it. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but yields it to his wife, yeah? I'm here to serve you, madam. I'm here to serve you, my dear wife. I'm at your beck and call. Whatever you need, I got you. And I hope you got me the same way. It's mutually beneficial. So far, again, this does not constitute rape. Do not deprave each other, except perhaps by mutual consent and for a time. So it's saying, if you can, 
this is quite wise advice. This is basically saying if you have a marriage, try to be sexually active to you know um, help each other's needs, aid each other's needs. But it's not constituting what he's saying about raping because it's saying the key word here, mutual, mutual consent. That's what it says here. For a time, so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. So it's basically saying that if you're not having a lot of sex at home and if you're not mutually connected and there's not a union there, then most likely there is a temptation to go out there and seek other things. That's probably the whole Satan thing is like temptation outside of your house. But again, it's not what he said. I say this as a concession, not as a command. I wish that all of you were as I am, but each of you has your own gift of God and one has this gift, another has passed. Again, this is a fucking book that randoms wrote so you can believe what you want to believe. But so far, I've not heard anything in this scripture that resembles what that fucking donut is saying. Nothing. Zero. It's talking about being a good husband, being a good wife, having a good marriage, right? Being mutually um, beneficial, yielding to each other being a servant to each other hope helping each other satisfying each other but it doesn't say anything about if your wife comes back from a 16 hour shift you're allowed to try to fucking fuck her wherever she stands and she has no right to object that's not what it says <laughs> it doesn't say that it doesn't say if your wife is not in the mood or she's mentally taxed out or whatever that you have a right to just force yourself on her it does not say that in my opinion but again i could be wrong because i'm wrong all the time usually but so far i've not heard a single thing that justifies right what this donut said in this particular clip let's hear it one more time from this guy because it deserves being heard one more bloody time let's hear it from him one more time let's hear it let's hear it. let's hear him describe what men should be doing to their wives right let's hear him again it's very very important that how a wife gives the husband sex whether she's tired or not, to give them sex, yeah? yeah? Because you can't starve, you know, your husband and then complain when a woman outside wants to give him food. Mm. If your husband wants pounded yam at home and you're not supplying, you'll get pounded yam outside. The Lord said, if the woman does not provide the yam in thy house, thy house will be contaminated with spirits of demons who get the yam outside. The Bible says, for thy woman is not a gift on the gods, but a gift to the man. Thy Bible says, For if thy woman does not give only fans to the man, he will find another fan outside. <laughs> For the Bible says, If the fan is not in your household, you will find another only fan outside. <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> mm, Wisdom. Paul, let me just make it clear. I'm talking about married couples. Let me just make it clear. I'm talking about married couples. As soon as she puts a ring on their finger, you have permission to rape her with your fingers and your penis. If she calls the police, the Bible says, for thy man has authority over the woman. You can hit her over the head with a saucepan. She doesn't use it to cook anyway because she's a millennial stupid woman, a Gen Z girl, damn damn, doesn't cook, so the pan will be clean. You can hit her over the head with the pan, she will be unconscious and you can rape her as much as you want. A woman's dead body is still the authority of the man. For the Bible says, until the woman's body is buried under the ground, a man can fuck her continually. The Bible says, until the body is consumed by worms in the ground, you have authority to fuck her dead corpse. <laughs> Whether your wife is tired, she must give you sex. Whether she's hungry, whether she's stressed, whether she has depression, whether she has anxiety, whether she has bodily issues, period. A period is from the devil. The devil is red. The period blood is red. The God says, may the rivers run with blood. If the wife is making blood, she's a devil. You can fuck the devil out of your wife by fucking her on her period. For the Lord says, in Corinthians 1, 26, 1, 7. For the Lord says, periods is a weapon of the enemy. The enemy is the devil. The devil is Satan. The Satan is red. 
Manchester United are the Red Devils. If your wife supports Manchester United, she is the devil. You can fuck her in the ass. No blood comes from there. <laughs> Otherwise, there'll be contention and tension in the home. And, you know, there's another woman out there wishing they have a chance to give you what your wife is struggling to give you. Wishing? She's struggling to have sex with me. Why are you struggling to have sex? Why can you not take this large, large anaconda dick? Why can you not take this large anaconda dick in your pussy? Open it wide. I don't care if you've been working for 27 hours. I don't care if you are working double shift. Take my dick inside of you now. Take it. Take it. The Lord says this thing here, this thing should be in your face, in your mouth. <laughs> So, wives, whether you're tired, give your husband sex. <laughs> and husbands, also be considerate. <laughs> what? Give your husband sex. Let them rape you, but also be considerate. If she says, no, please stop, okay, I'll stop for a little bit, but I'm going to continue. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's why as a man, you have to have self-control, though. That's what I was about to say. You must have self-control. But as, as, as wives... You must be wise. As wives, you must be wise. As men, you have to have self-control. Okay. Don't reload it, bro. Anyway, that guy's a fucking dum dum. Um, you know, whatever, man. Fucking profit my ass. Uh <laughs> the only thing that begins with P is probably his first name, mate. Fucking hell. Um Okay, what I want to talk about. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on.